So this is the new ghillie suit that has been added to Project Zomboid Build 41. I can't thank my friend Ben enough for letting me know that this was actually in the game, because I otherwise would have had no clue with today's update. Uh, I think it's even been in there for a little while, but it's only found in uh, Kingsmouth, one of the uh, new map areas in the game. And it might look a little bit OP by the way that I'm editing this video, but um, it's actually pretty standard clothing and I don't know if it really gives you any other bonuses. But I imagine that for most people watching this video, if, if you're into Project Zomboid, you have always had some interest in looking like a commando. <laughs> or some kind of undercover agent in the zombie apocalypse. Anyway, um, I couldn't manage to find a sniper for this video or a rifle with a silencer, though I've heard. I've not actually spotted one myself, but I have heard that there are silencers in the game now. And, uh, you could really go full commando mode undercover and start to dig out targets that way. I think for right now, I, I just spent most of this clip, this footage, just going through the military base. Uh, mainly just having difficulty with shotguns. Um, but yeah, here I go full commando mode. And uh, down below you can see the new holster system. Uh, if you find a belt in the game now, you can actually get a hot bar. Um, and so you could really quickly swap between like hunting knives and whatever gun you've got on you. And I've heard... Uh, you might be able to get it to as many f as five items as once. At one- uh, as f You might be able to get up to as many as five items at once. Uh, so here I think- Yeah. I found out that my gun was out of ammo, so I just quickly dispatched this one with a hunting knife. And it seems like there is some sort of sleight of hand involved, or like timing, so that you can actually get them at, like with a uppercut stab like you used to be able to, but- I, I guess once you master it enough, it, you can pretty much use knives like they used to be in the game, which were just incredibly OP and just wiped out everything. Um, I, I'm really surprised at the number of new animations, like in, in a positive way. There's a lot of rifle swatting animations, um, and I just see new stuff that I really like every day, like the fence hopping. Oh yeah, I was trying to teabag right there. That's awesome. Anyway, there's there's a lot more uh, reloading than I would really care to mention because I wish I had had more magazines for this weapon. I'm still having difficulty finding a lot of the uh, new weapons around the base, but there's a massive military base in Kingsmouth just to the north. Uh, or if you are unversed in the directions in Project Zomboid, that's the top right of the uh, map. Um, yeah, so you can go in there, except the problem is there's a massive fence, so you're either going to need a sledgehammer or uh, you'll need a, well, a car to go around because it's, it's quite a hike. Uh, still under development, so, you know, a lot of the stuff that you see here is not fully complete or you'll find areas that aren't totally finished, but this seems to be the only area, at least, that I've found uh, where ghillie suits are spawning. Um... I'm not going to have it right here, but a little bit later on in the video, I actually do find a whole bunch of zombies with ghillie suits. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought I'd take a drink of soda. Right in the middle of the whole horde. <laughs> Just pretty much anything mundane that you do with a ghillie suit on just looks ridiculous. <laughs> in, in a funny way. Um, so yeah, here I am getting back in my car. Still can't really find a military vehicle that suits me yet. Um, but I think it's in this part. There are just tons of uh, desert camo zombies all around the base, and they even have different looking military backpacks. Didn't realize, but I think we find one here. I, I've got a camo one in my main series, but here there's actually like, this other greenish colored one. I, I personally think that this one looks better, though I'm trying to still figure out how to get all the blood off of my ghillie suit. That tends to happen a lot. Now, I wonder if it's going to have any other effect in things like multiplayer, because I have encountered other players in multiplayer before where uh, they'll pretty much just jump out at you from nowhere. So I'm wondering if this will, like, you know, look like extra camo in desert, uh, not desert, in forest areas, which could actually be pretty deadly because people can pretty much just one-shot snipe you still, which is, you know, realistic. Uh, 
sometimes frustrating, but I, I, I like it. And I would like it if these suits added some element of camouflage to the whole multiplayer experience. Oh, anyway, I'm kind of making... Yeah, here it is. We found the uh, ghillie suit zombies. I'm going to run over this one here. And uh, part of his suit just, like, disappears. I think that's because I'm wearing out the condition by running it over with the car, but I can't honestly figure it out. So, there's something going on there. Kind of cool. Yeah, this this one was mostly okay, though. But I, I try to be more gentle now with the zombies as I kill them if I really like their clothes. Because I think if I beat them too badly, like, I might harm the clothes. <laughs> Like, no, I wanted that off of that guy. Anyway, I'm gonna look- I'm gonna make, uh, cars look really overpowered in this video, but they're really not that strong yet. Um, it just happens to be the way that I, uh, that I- that I edit them, because I've had so many bad experiences with- with them breaking the driver's side window, and then them just coming in and, like, taking a bite out of my stomach. And I'm just like, ah, well, that's great. Let me just put a band-aid on that. Anyway, here it is. I laid it out on the ground, actually, so you could just see. There's a whole new set of sprites for these things. And I was trying to exchange out all my bloody ones. I think I've also got blood on my backpack, though. I haven't figured out how to get rid of that yet. Maybe I just haven't found enough soap. I did actually see one player I'd created, like, a more soap mod, because he was just, <laughs> like, angry that there wasn't enough soap to take care of his clothes now that it's actually useful. Anyway, I am going to take out a lot here. Um, I can't really remember my particular reasoning behind this. I just happened to think that the desert camo boots look better with the, uh, with the ghillie suit. But cosmetics are becoming this bigger concern now. <laughs> I feel like people just have so much more identification with their characters at this point. Um, but speaking of which, I mean, let's go into the actual stats of the ghillie suit. Um, I, I don't really think it adds that much more armor in particular. I've seen better items for adding armor, uh, and it actually replaces both a shirt and a hat, so you'd probably be better off with other stuff, so I imagine that this suit is really gonna be good only for camo. I was wondering if it was gonna be one of those, like, daisy items, or, uh, actually I named the title of this video All Gillied Up after my favorite memory of ghillie suits, of which I have many, uh, from Call of Duty, <laughs> the mission with, uh, Captain McMillan. I feel like I'm gonna need to make some friends with Scottish accents if I really want to, uh, if I really want to do justice to the ghillie suits in this game. Anyway, but that's not, that's not the only item. Uh, what I'm going around right here is, uh, there's an armory in Kingsmith. Once you find the, uh, military base among a whole plethora of other locations, uh, there's actually an armory right in the middle. And I found a, a bunch of weapons in it. I think they're still working out some of the holster systems uh, because they just got released literally like a couple hours ago. Uh, but I, I couldn't get some of the pistols equipped, but I guess that's still in progress. Once again, everything that you see here is still like a work in progress, all in the experimental build. Um, actually, I asked permission if I could make this video because I was just, I was worried that I was uh, I was going into too experimental stuff, but it's just really really cool looking. Um, here I'm holstering more weapons on the back, uh, and I don't know if you can actually see it, but I've got a hammer at my side, and you've got two holsters. Um, one thing I'm kind of hoping for is that modders will start to come in and start modding clothing more, because there's like the, uh, this is the foreman vest, uh, and there's a whole clothing system revamp coming up for the HUD, uh, so I'm really excited to see what people do th with that. I'd really like people to, I don't know, make like a holsters in the tactical vest so you could have like seven things on your hot swap. It seems nice to be able to really quickly pull off all of these tools. One trick you might want to use is to, uh, you know, you're gonna need a sledgehammer for a lot of this stuff. Uh, fortunately I had one on my back and it makes a decent weapon now, uh, with the kind of slower pace of combat. Uh, I parked my car on the back wall and I destroyed the back wall so it would be completely safe because this military base in-game is, like, impenetrable in some areas. You're gonna need a sledgehammer if you want to get into this armory. Uh, but there is a lot of stuff in there once you do manage to make it in. Now, I haven't tried any of the other mods. This is all vanilla. Um, but supposedly there's one with an M16. I kinda wanna try that one out. Um, and just, like, 
you know, fixing some of the spawning stuff. Uh, but I've had, uh, had a much harder time killing some of the military zombies, too. I think it's because they have helmets on their heads. So if you can picture trying to kill a zombie with all this head protection, um, it actually adds, like, a different element of variety to it. Um, kind of like special zombies in other games. Here, I think I did check a lot of the lockers here, and I just left all the desert camo on the ground because it didn't even really compare at this point. <laughs> Once I got the ghillie suit. I can't stop saying ghillie suit. I just can't really help it. I was filled with, like, Christmas Day girlish excitement when I found out that this was in the game. I had honestly figured this out because I was asking if I could, like, model a ghillie suit because I wanted to make it as a mod, and I remember that somebody else had done so in the past, and they were like, Oh, no! <laughs> That's already in the game! <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? <laughs> But, um, like, there's so many things that I'm finding out about that I'm like, man, wouldn't it be cool if, and they're, they're already done in the game now, and it's like, holy crap, it's like a whole new game has been made. It's awesome. You should really give it a try if you haven't given 41 a try yet. It's, I mean, you know, 41 Experimental. Anyway, I wanted to show one of the other locations in Kingsmith because... Even though it's still a work in progress, it, like, it's really worth an explore, eh, exploration. Um, there's a lot of police departments. A part of it looks like The Sims to me. Like, I'm really getting the vibe from some of the houses and now with the cutaways. Um, I'm not even sure what this one was. I think it was like a high school or uh, I just judged by the lockers. And then I saw all these people on the inside who just looked suspiciously like gym teachers. Um, but here I'm actually going to try out the revolver. And there's like a whole new set of sounds added into the game, and they just sound fantastic. It's like ASMR, um, but uh, mainly with like gun reloading. It really reminds me of ORGM, and I mean, it was just so satisfying to hear the bullet. <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even really like a big gun person, but I just find the whole gun system really, really satisfying. And I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> it's not so bad. Anyway, um, I think at the end here, yeah, I couldn't find a way out of this garage, and I had to go around. But I'm, I'm pretty much just gonna finish off the video. I never found any sniper I really wanted, um, but I did find this revolver, and spent most of my time stomping them on the head. Yeah, there's the sound. S sounds like very, very nice. And I think they, uh, they also fixed the reloading. Uh, issue where you weren't getting experience for reloading weapons, so so much for reloading all those bullets a few days ago <laughs> But uh, honestly like the whole thing is really coming together I was trying to see if you could use cover or something like that like I'm wondering how this will come to play Eventually When they when they get to multiplayer um, But it really really seems like there's gonna be a lot more depth to multiplayer Because uh, I do remember I did have a few characters in multiplayer servers, but one of them I got so, like, tilted and frustrated because a guy just came out of a supermarket, like, stealth and shot me in the head. Like, immediately dead. No, no chance to fight back or anything. But I feel like that this is gonna add a new element of depth to all that. There we go. And you'll actually be able to see who you're aiming at, too, so it's gonna add just for fun. I really can't wait to get this into multiplayer. And I think at this point... Yeah. Oh, that was another thing I had wanted to mention. It, it seems like when you shoot them... I don't think that it's ragdoll physics. I think it's an animation, but I've just seen so many good animations that it almost feels like ragdoll physics. Like, I, I can't remember if I got this guy. Did I get him? I'm trying to wait every single time for... Yeah, I think it's an animation. But th that one didn't look like it. That looked like physics. Whatever they are, they look really damn good. <laughs> anyway, it, it was like an Old West shootout for the end here, but... Uh, what I was saying was that I guess... Uh, I, I think when multiplayer comes in, I'd really like to do more content like that. It just seems like there's a lot more possibilities for... I don't know, roleplay. There's a lot of roleplay servers here. Stealth. And just, I don't know, more depth and customization in your character creation. Um, I think the end, this is the end here now, where I'm about to get my ass kicked. 
Uh, I went into a shipping crate, and I didn't realize that there were a bunch of them sealed. Like, completely sealed. Like, hermetically sealed in a shipping crate by the docks. So I was running out of revolver ammo. And, uh... I was just trying to hop the fence, see if I could to hold my breath long, or uh, keep my breath long enough to actually be able to put a, f a fight against some of them. But uh, no dice. When I opened up the shipping crate, there were about ten of them in there waiting, waiting to devour me to pieces. Uh, pretty sad, but definitely a map that you should give a try, just because there's so many different areas on it. So many completely different areas from the normal game. Um, or I guess from Muldraw or anywhere. Uh, there's docks, there's a whole beach area, there's like a movie theater, there was crazy things I've never seen before. I, I thought it looked more like the work of a custom map maker, um, but it really seems like that they're starting to, you know, get way more creative and interesting with the map ideas. I'm really excited to see what happens in the future, and uh, I just heard pretty positive news about the map makers, so I really want to get back into the modding myself. Um, and I know there's a whole community dedicated to it, so if you're interested in modding, I'd really, uh, I'd like to connect, because uh, there's great things in the way for this game. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it there, be, and I might just let the rest run, because there's more ghillie suit madness. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've managed to find yourself a ghillie suit or whatever it is you're looking for on the military base. Maybe a sniper, unlike I did, and uh, get to work. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.